Hello and welcome to the Mithril Money Securities Investment 101 course, Lecture 22, The Importance of Macaulay's Duration. Now this lecture follows on directly from the previous lecture, so you may want to watch that if you haven't seen it already. There's one more thing we needed to add to that final screen, and that's the price. Here we've worked out the price of a bond in quite a complicated way by adding up the cash flows, present valuing them, and then summing up the present values. There is a much easier way to do this to get the price and that's to put an Excel function in here. So let me do that for you now. That's just going to be equal to PV and then what we put in there is we put in the rate. That is the yield to maturity there. Uh, we then put the number of periods in. This is an annual bond so that's going to be the number of years. We then put the payment in. That's going to be the coupon rate multiplied by the face value. We then put the face value in there, which is $100, as you can see. And the type is going to be at the end of the period, which is the default, which is zero. So that will give us a price. And you can see it's exactly the same as the sum of the PVs there, except it has a minus on the front. Now that's because it represents a cost. So what we'll do to kind of get it back into kind of English speak rather than mathematical speak, we'll just put a minus one on the front of here, minus one multiplied, and then that makes it positive again. Now, some people just put a minus in there, but I always like to put a minus one. So it's clear to me when I see the formula. So let's just comment that formula for you. And we'll be using this formula again in the rest of the lecture. This is where you might want to get hold of it if you want to play around with this stuff. OK, so we've been messing around with duration, Macaulay's duration a lot. And you're thinking, well, what's the point of this? Just want to show you a couple of things though before we show you the vast importance of Macaulay's duration. The first thing, if we make the coupon rate 0%, I we make this coupon, you can see here, a zero coupon bond. You can see the duration is exactly three, which matches the period of the bond. The kind of gravitational point of the sun, if there are no planets in the solar system, is the center of the sun. Now, as we increase the coupon rate here, I'll make it 1%. You can see there that this has moved slightly. Let's make this 10%. And you can see it's moved quite a bit to the left. The gravitational points of Mercury and Venus I've dragged this thing a little bit to the left. If we make this something ridiculous, like 100%, you can see duration really does pull over, but it doesn't come all the way down here because this final big payment here at the end is always a great big monstrous thing having a big effect on duration. Again, we'll just show you the zero coupon bond, put zero in there. And you can see this single bullet payment has set the duration to be right at the end. And again, you're thinking, well, what's the point of any of this? Well, the reason why is because I'm about to give you a fantastic choice. Let's have a look at this fantastic choice. I've drawn this earlier just to save a bit of time. I'm going to give you a choice between bond A, which is a 15 year bond with a 5% coupon, or bond B, which is a 16 year bond with a or with an 8% coupon. And here's the rub. Let's just colour these in so we're absolutely clear which ones are which. Now, if we don't look at all at duration to say how long is the bond, you can say, well, obviously that's 15 years and that's 16 years. And without looking at duration, obviously the longer bond should be the more volatile because the payments, the big payment, especially at the end, is further out into the future. Therefore, it's going to be eaten by interest rates more. So therefore, it should be more volatile. However, how far across have these small coupon payments pulled the gravitational point of the seesaw or the gravitational point of the solar system? And how far across is the duration of this one? You think, well, that's that's very kind of academically interesting, Andy, but I'm not really that excited. However, let's try and make you excited. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a choice. I'm going to give you 50 billion, 50 billion dollars worth of this one or this one. You're going to choose. And what we'll do is we'll say that interest rates are currently 10%. So market interest rates are currently 10%, and I'm going to give you $50 billion worth of the yellow one, or $50 billion worth of the green one. And I'm going to tell you that I'm a time traveler, and I know that interest rates are going to go down to 5% very soon. 
which one of these two portfolios do you want? Do you want the 50 billion portfolio in yellow or the 50 billion portfolio in green? And here's another thing. I'm going to give you a 10% annual bonus as a pension fund manager if you outperform the market. And we'll say the market is the worst performing of these bonds at the, on the interest rate drop. And we'll say that you can have 10% of any of the difference for your annual bonus working for your pension fund. So, pension fund manager, which one do you want? You know, because I'm a time traveller, that interest rates are going to go down to 5% very soon, and you can either be in portfolio yellow or portfolio green. Which one do you want? Okay, let's move to a bit of Excel then. Here's something I created earlier. Now, most of the formulas here are on the previous lecture, which you might want to look at if you haven't already seen it. Now, I haven't put the durations in here because that would give away the game. Now, you should know that the duration, if it's higher, that means the price is more volatile. And as interest rates go down, then the price should go up more rapidly than with a lower duration rate. And the trick is, which one of these two has the higher duration? That's the one you want. Even though this is 16 years, it might have a shorter duration than this one at 15 years. OK, you need to pick. And as soon as we've picked, then we'll reveal all. OK, well done, you've picked one A or B. Let's work out and see which one has the higher duration. So let's put the duration command into here. So that's going to be equal to duration. And we need the settlement, which is today. And then we need the maturity, which is in 15 years time. And then we need the coupon, which is there. Then we need the yield. That's going to be the 10% market yield there. And then we'll just go for one, which is annual and one actual over actual, just for nice completeness. Okay, duration is 9.6479 or 9.6479 years. A lot less than 15, you'll notice, because of the coupons pulling across the gravitational point. Okay, let's have a look then at the duration of this one. Now that's equal to duration of oh, the settlement time, which is today, followed by the maturity, which is in 16 years' time, and the coupon at 8%, the yield at 10%, and the free, again, the frequency 1 and 1 for the convention. Okay, 8.9873. Hmm, even though it's a 16-year bond, the duration is smaller. And that's because these 8% coupons have dragged across the rate. So let's just put those things in there then. So let's just get rid of this. That was, what, 9.6? So that's about there. And the other one, 8.98. So the one you want is A. And let's see how much your bonus would be then if you picked bond A with its longer duration. OK, now I've set the portfolios at 50 billion. You can see with bond A, with a price of 61.97 to 10%, that means you get 806 million of those to make up your 50 billion portfolio. With bond B, which has a slightly higher price because of this higher coupon, $84, you get 592 million of those to make up your 50 billion portfolio. Now, let's just then drop the interest rates to 5%. Let's have a look at that. Now, this portfolio A is now worth 80.68 billion. I'll just copy that and I'll just plug it into the sheet here. I'll just need to go to paste values. There we are. And then the other portfolio has just gone to 78.55 billion. So let's copy that and we'll paste it into the special graph area. And let's see how much your bonus would be. Let's just return that, go down to here. And you can see there that with a bit of delay, thank you, Excel, you've made an extra 2.14 billion. Yes, this did go from 50 billion to 78.55 billion. It did make an extra 28.5 billion, but your bonus is predicated on getting more than that. Here, you got 80.68 billion, so you made 2.14 billion more than the other portfolio. 10% of that is going to be 214 million in your bonus this year. So well done you. So that's why Macaulay's duration is so important. This pension funds pot has gone up by 2.14 billion, less the 214 million bonus you've just earned for correctly guessing the direction of interest rates and for picking the correct bond with the higher duration. Oh, by the way, you can see the durations have gone up here.
and that's a thing to do with something called convexity, which we'll cover in a future lecture after we've talked about modified duration, which is coming in the next lecture. Just for fun, let's increase interest rates from 5%, not to back to 10%, because we know what those figures are. Let's increase them to 15%. Let's see what we get there. This is 33.51 billion, a big loss. Let's just plug that into here. And there we go. And let's just take this figure as well, copy that, and just plug it into there. So let's go to paste values. And we can see once Excel responds, hey, took a little bit of time there. Now that's a loss then if you'd picked portfolio A, if interest rates went up by 5% of 1.06 billion, you should have been in portfolio B. And a billion here and a billion there. And pretty soon we're talking about real money. Anyway, lots of bond portfolios are in the hundreds of millions and the billions of major pension funds and major companies, major investment companies. So it really does matter what your durations are. So that's enough, I think, on Macaulay's duration. Next time we'll move on to modified duration, which is another aspect of duration, which is quite interesting, particularly if you are a bond trader. Anyway, see you next time.